it's so condescending for them to believe that Native Americans all feel the same about this, that they're all a monolith, and that they have the ability to tell them what they should and should not be offended by. Native Americans are people and individuals, let them speak to themselves, and if they say it doesn't bother them, then believe them when they tell you it doesn't bother them. Hey there, fellow tacticians. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that little notification bell because the more likes and subscriptions I get, the more people see my conservative content, which will make America a better place and angers the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. Now you messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs>
let's not pretend that there's a large uh, cross section between rabid baseball fans and woke white liberals. Just simply not there. Now, are there going to be some Democrat voters that are baseball fans of like, you know, the New York Yankees or Oakland or, or some of the other teams that are in deep blue districts? Yeah, that's going to take place. And, uh, you know, that's OK, because that's part of America is that our political differences and divides, we can still unite on hobbies and things like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. I, I don't you know, if I'm, I'm sitting next to a Braves fan in a stadium, I don't really care the way that he votes. You know, we're pulling for the same team right there. But when it comes to all of this, uh, there's probably not a lot of crossover. Like if there's a Venn diagram of baseball fans and uber woke white liberals that think that this name is problematic, I'm guessing that sliver where there's overlap there is really, really tiny, if non-existent. And generally speaking, your blue collar working class guys are the ones that like baseball. And so there's just not a lot of crossover there, but they, they want to act as though this is something that baseball fans have been calling for for years. This is so low on the list of priorities of things baseball fans want to talk about. It's basically off the list. That's how low a priority this really is. But ultimately it does come down to it's a bunch of woke white people that experience white guilt about how uh, people of different races have been treated by white people in the past that they try to do the best that they can to virtue signal, no, I'm one of the good white people, and yes, white people are evil, but I happen to be one of the good ones. Ultimately, that's what this is about. It's the same thing that we saw earlier this year with Uncle Ben and Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima, which was bought by black people at a ratio of four to one, in other words, four times as many black people were buying Aunt Jemima as white people because they liked the syrup, which is the reason that you're supposed to buy syrup. I know that this is something that is difficult to understand for a leftist that thinks that every single decision you make every day has to be some kind of expression of political correctness. But no, people bought the syrup not because of the imagery, but because they like syrup and liked their brand of syrup. That a bunch of white people say, no, that's racist. You shouldn't like that. And so we're going to take the most the brand that black people prefer more than any other off the shelves to show you how woke we are. <laughs> Bunch of angry white liberals taking syrup away from black families. Yeah, that's progress. Good job, guys. Well done. Uh, the same thing with the Washington Redskins. I did a whole 20-minute segment on the history of that and how Native Americans were actually involved in the naming of that team and the imagery and all of that stuff. Uh, and then a bunch of white people come on and it's like, nope, you shouldn't like that, Native Americans. We have to pull that away. Well, the thing is, this is exactly the same thing. In fact, if you look at this poll that was taken by a Native American uh, news organization known as, if we can pull it up, there we go, Indian Country Today, they took a poll. And this one was, I think this one's a couple of years old, but it's the only one I could find on the Cleveland Indians specifically. Do you find, uh, agree with the protesters who say Cleveland Indians name and Chief Wahoo logo are offensive? Remember, this is a poll of a Native American news publication. So presumably mostly Native Americans that are going to be taking this poll. 67% over two-thirds said no. Well, almost, actually slightly less than two-thirds, but basically two-thirds said no. Only 32% said yes. And I also want you to remember that this is a news publication specifically geared towards Native Americans, which means people that read a newspaper specifically geared to a racial group, they're probably going to be even further left than the average person. So I tend to think that this poll probably is amongst, if you were to poll every Native American, probably most of them don't care, even higher than the 67% that said, no, we don't find it offensive. People tend, seem to not understand this is a tribute. It is not a cut down or a racial slur. I mean, when you name a baseball team something, you are naming it something you like. I'm right here in the city of Montgomery. What is our baseball team called? Our double-A baseball team here, who's an affiliate of the Tampa Bay Rays, they're the Biscuits. Do you think we named them that because we hate biscuits? No, we like biscuits. That's why we named them the biscuits. Do you think that up in uh, 
in Huntsville where they just had the new the the new stadium open. Do you think that they call themselves the Trash Pandas because everybody hates raccoons? No, they're called the Trash Pandas because everybody really liked Guardians of the Galaxy. That's really what it boils down to. They like the 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 space rocket um uh, rocket raccoon character in that and they made a a cartoon character that's really similar to him and he's really popular and it's marketable and because people really like it that's why they named their baseball team after it that's what you do with a baseball team you name it after something that you really like and so naming it after the indians or like my team the atlanta braves Naming it after the Braves, that's a tribute. We're saying this is a cool thing that we like and we want to use that as imagery. And so because of that, we like this thing and we're going to make it our team name. But see, somebody that is not a sports fan would not understand that. You see, that's the disconnect here. The vast majority of the New York Times readers that are uber left and uber woke and the people that actually work in New York Times, they couldn't give two craps about baseball. Just don't care about it. And because of that, they can say this thing, and they know that most of their readers is not going to read that and know that this is a gross mischaracterization of the way that things actually are in baseball, but they don't care because they don't really care about baseball. You know, when it comes to the Braves, I, I was talking to my buddy Joe Hunk about this earlier. You know, he's a, a sports guy, a friend of mine. Uh, he was on sports radio. And he was saying, you know, I think the Braves probably keep the name but get rid of the Tomahawk, but... I got to tell you, man, I'm, I'm worried about that. And if the Braves get rid of the name, and frankly, I'm almost to the point that if they get rid of the Tomahawk, I'm just going to become more of a Rays fan. Or Red Sox. I, I, I really pull for both of those teams. I'm not going to get into why. Uh, the Rays, primarily, just because of Montgomery. Uh, but I, I, it just it burns me up so much because I love the Braves. I've got Brave stuff all over my living room. Uh, been a Braves fan since I was a little kid. Um... Oh, well, I can't actually say that because that's somebody's Christmas present. But anyway, I was going to give an illustration. The point is, I have a lot of Brave stuff. I like Brave stuff. I like the imagery. My favorite my favorite logo is the Tomahawk A. The, the A with the ho- Tomahawk through it. Not because I think it's racist, because I think it looks cool. And also because my Braves hats commonly get mistaken for Alabama hats living in the state. So I like something that's a little more distinguishing. But... Uh, at the end of the day, I'm just I'm really worried that a bunch of angry white liberals are going to ruin everything as they typically do. So it's so condescending for them to believe that Native Americans all feel the same about this, that they're all a monolith, and that they have the ability to tell them what they should and should not be offended by. Native Americans are people and individuals let them speak to themselves, and if they say it doesn't bother them, then believe them when they tell you it doesn't bother them. The last thing I will say is, if we're going to go woke anyway, can I at least make a suggestion on the name? Can we call them the Cleveland Elizabeth Warrens? I think that would be appropriate. Let's go to the Chaplain's Report. Ever wonder where Superman gets his incredible powers? Some people say it's the yellow son of Earth, but I think it's because he subscribes to this channel and likes my videos. Now, I'm not saying that if you subscribe to my channel, you'll necessarily wake up tomorrow as a super strong, nearly invincible alien, but it definitely doesn't hurt your chances.